Welcome back folks. Today I got something pretty cool for the uh, Cyber Roadster yoke steering wheel. I know it's not quite ready, but I need to get ready because soon I'm going to be driving it and I need something a little better than that traditional round steering wheel. Check this out. I never swapped a stock steering wheel to this, so this is going to be pretty much a first uh, and we're going to learn this together. Let's see what's inside. Okay, for the install, what I'm gonna need is a skinny flathead screwdriver. This is to take off the airbag. And then I'm using one of these 3 8 with a 3 8 hex socket. This is to take off the center bolt that holds the steering wheel on. And before I get into that, I'm gonna disconnect the auxiliary 12 volt battery and the main battery. The 12 volt is obviously over here. I got everything removed on the Cyber Roadster, so I'm just gonna reach in and disconnect it there, but originally you would have to pop the frunk to disconnect that battery. Now I'm gonna disconnect. This part is under the uh, passenger seat, which is this right here. Now it's safe to remove the airbag. This, this part's kind of tricky. You got these little holes on the side right here. Uh, this is what the uh, flathead is for. You go in there and you kind of, basically you got a feel for it. There's these pins that See that release the airbag on that side and same thing on this side there it goes right now <clears throat> right now just disconnect uh, the airbag like this take that out and let me show you guys how what holds the airbag this is kind of tricky see you're pushing this pin and see that's what pops off the top part and the bottom one Basically, you gotta kinda just see, mess with it. It's, it's kinda tricky. In and up, like this. And that's what makes it pop off. This is a hex 3 8 bit right here. Take off this middle bolt, this big one. This, this is you know, kind of a tough one because it holds, holds the, uh, you know, the whole steering wheel. Without this bolt, you would not have a steering wheel. <laughs> it seems like, yeah, there's a little bit of a thread locker on here, basically factory. So that's why it's kind of tough to take it off. Okay, now what you do is basically just wiggle it out. There it is. Uh, another important thing, keep this in mind, when you take off the steering wheel, you know, you're gonna work on it with your wheels straight. Make sure the wheels are straight. And never mess with this. When the steering wheel is off, make sure this is exactly the same because um, if you turn this, you know, like for example, uh, 360, right? And then you're gonna put the steering wheel on again, you're gonna end up ripping the clock spring uh, wiring that's on the inside. So definitely don't mess with this when you take off the steering wheel. Let's see what I need to do to make the yoke work. Okay, at first glance, this has some wiring in it. The yoke doesn't. So I'm assuming I need to bring some of this into this. So this is what we need to do. There's four bolts that are T25s that hold this plastic piece into place, basically this right here. You see this, this carbon fiber, watch. Okay, yeah, it comes off, it comes right off. So take this off. And we need to basically take the guts off of this one and transfer it into this one. In order to take this off, there's these pins. It's kind of like for the horn right here, this part right here. I need to take those off. They hold on right here. Can take that off. Okay, release that. And this part is loose. Now I can get to the T25 little screws. Okay, this is loose right here. I need to do the same thing, just pull this off. Definitely be careful with this. It won't break too easy, but you can never be too safe. Whoops. Keep these four screws um, in, a safe, in a safe place. This is what the new one came with, and this is the original. 
So it looks like what I need to do is, so these are the scroll buttons right here, and this one, it already has them on here. And it looks like these are actually original Tesla um, scroll buttons. That's pretty cool, actually. I thought these were aftermarket, but they, they say, say Tesla on them, just like this one. And then there's this piece right here that does not come on the new yoke steering wheel. So I need to transfer that over. This is a T10. Take those off, keep those safe. Disconnect the scroll buttons. Now this basically carries on over here. Just connect these two. Grab these T10s. Okay, so uh, I basically transferred over uh, the guts, as you can say, put it back in here. Uh, this is another thing that, about this steering wheel. It does come with a heated option, like for example, so this Model 3 did not come with a heated steering wheel. Uh, this new one does, it gives you the option. This is the harness that would basically click in here. You would see it if you had it. Um, but what you do is when you put this on, if you don't have a heated steering wheel option, what you do is just fold this over and it's not gonna be in the way. Just fold it over, put it in and um, finesse this in back in the uh in its spot now you take the t25 screws okay after you put on the four t25 screws you need to uh, you got to get this this uh airbag holder back into its position which is kind of the horn as well just kind of get them get them where they need to be and then push in okay grab your steering wheel and the 3 8 uh, bit for the big screw do keep this in mind it's very important because if you disconnect you know both batteries and your window is closed you're not going to open the car right so do roll down the window before you disconnect the battery i should have said that in the beginning um but what you do is basically you use your emergency uh, latch to open the door. Definitely very important because if you do that and you close the door, you're not going to open the car. At this point, just make sure this is, you know, aligned level and just get the steering wheel in there. All right, that's it. Simple as that. How long did that take us? Like 20 minutes. If you got the right tools, not much tools, and that's it. Look at that. Now I got a cool new steering wheel. This looks better than the yeah, Model S, you know, yoke steering wheels because the Model S, even though you might have some kind of a, uh, uh, no, they, they don't come with the carbon fiber, right? No. Model S don't come with carbon fiber. I don't know. I don't think even that one. They don't one. even have carbon fiber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, it, none of this is carbon fiber. So so this comes with matte carbon fiber. You can get it different. You can do gloss. There's yeah, there's a lot of different options. You can do this white. You can do like different colors. This is the one I can't, uh, this is the one I went with, the matte carbon fiber. You got the carbon fiber on this right here, and it's real carbon fiber as well. So this is pretty cool. Uh, the feel of this, definitely when you're driving your car like this, let's say in the windy roads, um, it's a really cool feeling. This is an awesome steering wheel. And you see how I put the seat down in the Cyber Roadster. I'm sitting a lot lower, right? And I'd be looking through here pretty much. This steering wheel actually came from hautopart.com. They have a huge variety of different kinds of steering wheels. Like you can change the colors. Like I think there was white, even blue, I think, or red, something like that. There's a huge variety of accessories. I didn't even know you can get stuff like that from a Model 3 or any other Tesla. Go over there, browse, see what they got. Very competitive in pricing. And to top it off, use my promo code CYBERHOOLIGANEV to get an extra 10% off. This is freaking awesome. Let's continue with the uh, Cyber Roaster build.